as of today, more than 64 million Americans have been fully vaccinated for the coronavirus with doses produced by Pfizer, Moderna, and Johnson & Johnson. But at Walter Reed, military scientists are now working on testing what they hope will be the vaccine of the future to tackle the threat, not just from COVID-19 variants, but also other future pandemics. Our Bob Woodruff got an inside look in this week's Vaccine Watch. This week, military scientists are launching a phase one clinical trial for their still experimental shot. While the U.S. has already authorized three vaccines against COVID-19, the mission here is to produce new vaccines to defeat current and future variants. Retired U.S. Army Colonel Francis Holonady stepping up the volunteer at the Walter Reed Army Institute of Research. When it dawned on me that they were trying to do a trial for the COVID-19, I saw this as another opportunity to just serve. Walter Reed researchers gave us an exclusive tour of their lab just outside of Washington, D.C. Uh, we sit in the Army Futures Command here uh, at Walter Reed Army Institute of Research, and the Army Futures Command was created only a few years ago to tackle the wars of the future, not fight the wars of the past. These scientists know their vaccine won't be the country's first defense against COVID-19, also known as SARS-CoV-2. They're aiming for a shotgun approach, targeting multiple variants and closely related viruses. In, in the startup, we're, we're, we're behind the curve, but what we're seeing when we test against these variants and even Going back to 2003 with the SARS-1 virus, this type of immune response that we're getting is actually very broad. Do you honestly think we will have another, will there be a SARS-3, a SARS-4? So uh, in the back caves out there, there are definitely other coronaviruses that have that potential. So that's where Now's the time to strike and really make sure that that does not happen. Walter Reed scientists say versatility is key. My, my first ever uh, birthday gift as a, I think as a teenager was a Swiss Army life, which I loved. And this is very much like a Swiss Army knife. Whereas other knives only have one blade. That's right. Unlike currently authorized COVID-19 shots in the U.S., which rely on genetic instructions to rev up the immune system, the vaccines they're studying here are made of protein that mimics the structure of the virus. Closer you get to something that looks like a virus, the better response you're gonna to get to that virus and related viruses as well. Uh, so these are the red ones then. So, I, so we have three, we get Pfizer. Uh, Moderna. And, Moderna, right. Yeah, and Johnson and Johnson. Johnson and Johnson. Those are all vaccines that are fighting against just that one particular virus. That's right. Current vaccines are just targeting this one line here. Just the top one. What we're trying to do initially, and what we're close to right now, we think, is all of this. And what we're going to get to next is the rest of this. The long-term goal, the moonshot here, is to get the entire family, not just the small branches, not just the big branches, not just the trunk and the roots, but the entire tree. Although they say their data looks good in monkeys, they still have a major hurdle to overcome proving it works and is safe in humans. They have some very early data to suggest in the laboratory that the immune response evoked by this vaccine will cover a variety of different strains. Now, whether that translates actually into protection in people against a variety of strains, that remains to be determined. Long journeys, first steps. But if successful, this would be a vaccine that could be used across the globe without the cumbersome frozen storage requirements of some other vaccines. The motto of our institute is soldier health, world health. It's so tied together. So products, vaccines that we're making for our soldiers are really global products, ones that can be accessed globally. While still in early stages of clinical trials, the hope is that these new types of vaccines will keep the world one step ahead of the next pandemic. Many different ways to, to serve. Right? You don't have to be in the military, you don't have to be a first responder, but you can help all. And if you have a calling to help people, this is just one of the ways you can do it. This is Bob Woodruff, tracking the vaccine. 
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.